Y254 Imagine Well, sell by tax in Kenya have been reported to go up to 100% and threats are getting more complex. Still, the digital space remains a gold mine. Remember, you can be part of this conversation because that's what you're talking about and that's what you're discussing here on the show. You can do that on our social media platform. That is Y254 channel across all social media platform. Or you can tweet me directly at Miriam underscore Masava. Remember, the hashtag to use is Y254 update. But first, let us take a look at news making headlines tonight. And to a first story, micro, small and medium enterprises will be able to access a secured loan ranging between 30,000 shillings and 250 shillings from the new loan product dubbed Stawi through their mobile phones at 9% interest annually. This is after five commercial banks teamed up to unveil a mobile a mobile-based credit facility that will that will target the small to mid-sized enterprises. The facility will initially be managed by Commercial Bank of Kenya, Cooperative Bank of Kenya, Diamond Trust Bank of Kenya, KCB, and NIC Group in the pilot phase. The central bank says Starwi is specifically intended for MSMEs that have been locked out of the formal credit market due to the informal nature of their records and lack of collateral for secured loans. Yes, remember, you can be part of this conversation using a social media platform, and we are talking about digital space gold mine. And moving on to our next story, that is National Cement is set to purchase Earth River Mine Cement for the 5 billion shillings if it receives all the necessary regulatory approvals. National Cement says it will acquire all cement and non-cement assets and business of RRM Cement PLC in Kenya as a going concern. The deal is, however, subject to approval by the Competition Authority of Kenya at the River Mining Shareholders in the Capital Markets Authority. The cement company was placed under receivership last year after failing to meet its creditor obligations and shares suspended from trading on the Nairobi Stock Exchange with effect from 20th August 2018. Earth River Mining creditors approved a proposal by the PricewaterCoopers to undertake a robust transaction process aimed at identifying strategic or financial investor in Earth River Mining Cement. Today, National Cement has announced that the two companies have agreed on a buyout deal that will see it acquire all cement and non-cement asset and business of Earth River Mining Cement PLC in Kenya as a going concern. Yes, this is Y254 channel and today is business, to business Tuesday. Remember, we are strictly focusing on business news. Yes, moving on to Deacon's East Africa is selling assets in four stores spread across Nairobi and Kigali in Rwanda. The company, which is currently under administration, has invited buyers for its stores under the, under the names for for to you, Adidas, Bozini, F and F9, all situated at various malls in Nairobi and Kigali. The fashion retailer was put under receivership in 2018, two years after its shares were sold to investors at the Nairobi Security Exchange. <laughs> yes, and if you own a Huawei smartphone, this story is for you. US chip makers Intel, Qualcomm, and Broadcom are the latest technology companies to suspend business dealings with Chinese telecommunication giant Huawei after Google made similar announcement early Monday. The three firms have stopped supplying device components to the firm in an escalating trade war between China and the United States. This comes after U.S. Commerce Department placed Huawei and some 68 affiliates, affiliates on a so-called entity list, a trade blacklist, following an executive order signed by U.S. President Donald Trump. Google has barred Huawei from some 
updates to the Android operating system. According to Google, new versions of Android operating system will not be available to Huawei devices. No further Android app security updates will be available for devices new and old, including the sorry, including the recent P30 and P30 Pro, Mate 20 Pro, and many more apps such as Google Play Store. Gmail and YouTube will be unavailable. Holders of current Huawei smartphones with, with Google apps, however, will continue to be able to use and download app updates provided by Google. Ha Huawei is one of the most common devices used in Kenya and Africa at large. In 2018, International Data Corporation indicated that of 53 million smartphones shipments to Africa, Huawei sales accounted for 10.2% behind transition brands Techno, Infinix and Itel and Samsung. However, in a defiant note, Huawei says it has spent the last few years preparing a contingency plan by developing its own operating system. Some of this technology is already being used in products sold in China. Yes, and today we are discussing matters digital space. And we youth, have we utilized these digital space or not? Well, we can be part of this conversation using a social media platform. That is why 254 channel across all social media platform, or you can tweet me directly at Miriam underscore Masava. The hashtag to use is Y254 updates. We are going to take a short break. We'll be back after this. Don't go anywhere. Y254. Imagine. Kama kawaida, this is the buzz. Kuna vitu noma interview after interview. After interview. After interview. Ili chukua time kufika hapo, lakini ilikuwa wapi? But Maisha just gave me that platform and just, you know, pushed me outside and like made my face visible. You know, when you are born again and you're doing gospel music, it's not just about singing. It's not just about, you know, wimbo kuhit or watu wa mefraia wimbo. Napatikana kujulikana, it's about winning souls. Yeah, I'm in the music video. Yeah, it's um, uh, Dusnyao. <laughs> Dusnyao. 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 I'm so chilled out, but can you say hi? Call me Bibi and Dagua. And I'm Mike Itai, and this right here is the buzz.
5254 image Yes, welcome back. My name is Miriam Masava and you're watching Y254 channel and today is Business Tuesday and we're discussing cyber security crimes which have been reported to go up by 100% but despite that, digital space remains a goldmine. We're discussing that and today in studio with me we have Frederick Aringo who is a founder of digital, of, sorry, of M. Darasa. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Frederick for making time to come to Y254. Karibu sana. Thank you very much. Osama. Yes, yes. Yeah. Karibu. And mm -hmm. you can begin by telling us what exactly is M. Darasa? Okay, before M. Darasa, <laughs> I'll have to introduce myself. Again. Do, please go ahead. Yeah. The floor is yours. Yeah, the camera, okay. which one? Yeah, camera one. Okay, you can go. Yes. So my name is uh, Haringo Frederick, mm -hmm. uh, CPA. I've done uh, CPA, which I'm also certified accountant. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm having a lot of interest in aspect of technology. Mm -hmm. So today, I think I'll uh, be talking about uh, M Darasa. Mm -hmm. M Darasa is a platform okay. of which uh, this platform I founded it. That is that was in last year, around uh, October. Took up uh, that was uh, in October, which we roll it out in the market. Ideally, when uh, we are talking about uh, M Darasa. This is a platform for studies whereby CPA, we are terming them as accountants, and also uh, any other course like uh, those who are doing bachelor in business management, and also those who are doing bachelor in commerce. You can access any learning material in MDARASA application. Ideally, it's a phone application, and also we have a concept of web application. Mm -hmm. So all these have been designed in a way that it will create an environment to the student feeling like he's in a physical class. Mm -hmm. That's, that was our main, main agenda, creating an online environment that will make a student feel that he's in a physical class. So basically, who are your target market? Okay, the target market mm -hmm. as of now, mm. we started with uh, CPA students or any person who's doing accounts be it in a university level, that is mm -hmm. a degree level, mm -hmm. be it in a certificate or be it in a diploma. So ideally, uh, M. Darasa, it has been designed in a way to cater for all these students. So that's the time uh, we started with the account students, but later on, we'll be going also to high schools, whereby uh, students, maybe after they have closed their school, they can do their revision at home, using a mobile application yeah, yeah yeah okay do you expect uh where do you see your business growing in the uh, next maybe five years mm -hmm. where do you see it in the next five years actually in the next five years mm. we have a target plan what uh, our strategy we had a six years plan mm -hmm. so in our six years plan actually right now it hasn't even uh one year hasn't even elapsed but the target that we had for this one year I thank God we've already surpassed that mm -hmm. because a digital market for youths is an area that if well utilized, this can be a very big thing in Africa, not the next big thing, but it should be the big thing as of now. Because you'll find like uh, the way we design our application, mm -hmm. if you can allow me to demonstrate how it works, <laughs> the way we design our application is that you as a student, uh -huh. whenever you've downloaded the application, okay. for which you can find the application on Play Store, if you go to Play Store, just search M Darasa. Then after searching M Darasa, in fact, it's the only M Darasa app on place. But owners of Huawei will not be able to access. It. Yeah, the owner of Huawei. Uh -huh. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, but, uh, mm. I believe uh, we'll be having a lot of a solution on the same mm -hmm. regarding the Huawei and Google. Yeah. This aspect of I believe this are just a business war. Mm. But in any business war, we normally believe this always a solution. Okay. So even personally, I believe. The Huawei in Google, this should not be a permanent, should not be a permanent thing. Of okay. Which a solution, mm -hmm. a solution can be, can be found very soon. Okay. Yeah. And you, have, you say you, you are, right now you're targeting students, university students, yeah. then you're planning to move to high school. Mm -hmm. Do you see yourself becoming international? That is a main target. Because <laughs> even as of now, because uh, like uh, last semester and also this semester, mm -hmm. as of now, the CPA students are doing the examinations. Mm -hmm of which this semester we recorded at least five international students, of which in this case, we had students from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. we had who are using your app who are using to, study. App to study CPA. Because okay. mm -hmm. you'll find CPA, if I was to talk on a CPA, it is a, it is a course that is being done within uh, in a several countries. Mm -hmm. Like uh, last semester, we had some students in Rwanda, 
Mm -hmm. In fact, we had roughly like 15 students in Rwanda who are using this application to study their CPA. Because mm -hmm. uh, this application, Masava, yeah. <laughs> if you try it, you'll find that you'll have a feeling of a physical class because the yeah. first thing that you'll be able to view, we have video tutorials. Mm -hmm. The video tutorials have been arranged in a way that you can study on a subtropic-wise basis. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, we have a certain unit. This unit has been categorized maybe into different topics. So you'll find the way we've arranged our application is in a way that in each topic, we have subtopics, right? Hey, okay. Then on the subtopics, mm -hmm. you'll find that we have some video tutorials. The video tutorials are attached on these subtopics. So why did we go on the aspect of subtopics? Because you'll find you as a student, maybe lab on uh, a certain unit. At times you can get bored, right? <laughs> then you, you, are, you feel like sleeping, maybe if the content is very bulk, right? So that now we've designed it in a way that mm -hmm. going on a subtopic wise, mm. it will be very easy. You'll not be bored mm -hmm. because you'll be having video tutorials. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. The second thing, you'll be able to view the class notes. These okay. class notes have been des designed now, which are very brief for you to, to understand it well. Yeah. And also in addition to that, we have revision question and answers. Okay. Maybe you find that you've studied and on an aspect of studying, at least you want to refresh your mind. Hey, okay. You don't refresh your mind <laughs> to me, yeah? Zillian knows <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, so in that case, you'll find that uh, the revision questions that we provided, mm. you just be using revision question and, and answers. Mm. To this, it has enhanced quality also on, mm. on studying. And to make it very, very, very good again, hey. you'll find that on this platform <laughs> for ours, yeah, uh -huh. we provide it in a way that you can engage your lecturer. At any given point, maybe you are studying mm. and you feel you haven't grasped the concept correct. Maybe, for example, like if you can allow me to use accounting terms, right? <laughs> Would you allow me to use accounting terms? You're making terms? me want to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, fun, please, fun please, please do. Please same, do. Right? Hope our viewers will understand. Yeah, I uh, hope you'll understand. Uh, okay, okay, so go ahead. Like, uh, say if I'm doing uh, financial accounting. Mm. In financial accounting, we have a, uh, something known as a trial balance. We have a statement of financial position and mm. also we have income statement. Okay. You find this student, now in this, you can you go to Isabu. <laughs> but Isabu is very fun. So you'll find <laughs> okay. on this income statement, <laughs> a student maybe he hasn't gotten the concept correct. Mm. We are providing an area, a button in the application, where a student can ask a question. Maybe you want to smoke your pal home and ask a more so youths. You're studying and you want to listen to a lot of music. Yeah, it's fun, but at times it can, it can interrupt you mm. to the aspect that you will fail to understand maybe what, what we've given. Okay. So if you haven't gotten the concept correct, we tend to application. Then on that button, there's an area where you can ask a question. Mm. The moment you've asked a question, mm. the lecturer on the other side mm. is going to assist you in answering, in answering that question or giving you a clear picture or not you're supposed to do in that question. Well, That's amongst the beauty of our phone application. Yeah, well. A feeling of a physical class <laughs> yeah, at Frederick, the palm of your hands. You're making me want to go back to school, but yeah. sasa, sasa, i apiako tu niya, uh -huh. niya accounts and CPAs. Well, uh -huh. <laughs> <So is> it, <laughs> me, me have that journalism. Uh -huh. Okay, that case, Well, well, mm -hmm. well, moving on, uh -huh. uh, Frederick, um, yeah. if I may ask. Yeah. In these application viewers, mm -hmm. how does it conform to the new curriculum that the Ministry of Education has rolled out? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, it confirms mm -hmm. in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, as at now, submission, mm -hmm. we've started with uh, CPA. CPA is a professional course of mm -hmm. which uh, the main examiner is a uh, CASNIB. So, in every way, because uh, on the application, it's not only one lecturer. Mm -hmm. We have several lecturers who are very qualified in tutoring the same. Mm -hmm. So, in these professional courses, we've offered a curriculum as uh, it has been given by uh, CASNEB. So, in a way that we've complied with CASNEB as a body or exam examination body for, for CPA students. Okay. And when you go maybe to uh, universities, you'll find that there are so many common courses that a CPA do share with, like a Bachelor in Commerce and also BBM. So we've also provided that platform whereby maybe university, if uh, on the whole, you'll find that some students will find a bit to mm -hmm. As at the end of the class, haoja elewa chochote. So we provide it in a way that hata kamo jelewa chochote. If you're using MDARASA application, mm -hmm. you can still uh, do your studies very well.
Okay. Yeah. You, 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 you are a founder of this app. Yeah. Uh, what does one need mm -hmm. to start mm -hmm. an app? Mm -hmm. Are there like regulations or uh, requirements for one to start an app? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. As a, as a business venture. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Looking at it on the side of our business, mm -hmm. if you are to set an application, first of all, it should be having because every business has a plan. Right? Okay. So, in every business, as much as it has a plan, you should be able to identify what do you really mm, need. Exactly. Right? Mm. So, after you've identified what you really need, now you'll come up with a structure. It's not an easy uh, stuff because for us to come up with MDARASA app, it took us almost seven months. Mm. For on us brainstorming. To, yeah, on mm. aspect of uh, mm. we brainstorm for a period of uh, roughly like uh, four months, just taking a data, you go and ask some people. If, suppose, this application is here, what do you think? How can it work? In that, it's just a matter of collecting data. Mm -hmm. So it, it will take a lot of time if you really want to be very effective. Because it took us roughly like seven months on aspect of gaining, uh, getting the research and developing the same. So what it takes for you to come up with an app, more so when you're talking about uh, youths and any other investor. In this case, you'll have to identify what you really need to achieve on the app. Mm -hmm. Like for us, our main achievement was looking at it on the side of business. We are also looking at it on the side of assisting the students. Yeah. So that's why we came up with this app. And there's so many features that I haven't mentioned on the app, mm -hmm. including when uh, you'll take me uh, there, of which you're talking about MDRASA for SMEs. Mm -hmm. Like again, using our application, if you are doing a certain business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And basically, you are talking of care. Even juicy to know now to engage with Shiko Sana, care. Before we go to that, eh, uh -huh. is ICT and the digital space uh, gold mine as youths mm -hmm. are just sitting on instead of utilizing it and creating employment for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do you think as youths, as youths mm -hmm. are just sitting on it? Actually, for us youths, we are sitting on it more mm -hmm. so in Africa as at now. Mm -hmm. Uh, technology is something that if we embrace it well with good strategies, trust me, it's a form of uh, mm -hmm. an area whereby mm -hmm. it's going to create a lot of employment. Mm -hmm. In that, won't be because as of now, you'll find that maybe a person is studying mm -hmm. just for the purpose of Kutuma Masivi, Niapate Kazi, right? But if you have an idea, it doesn't mean that you really have to have that good uh, knowledge in IT. So long as you have an idea, you can try to look at some friends. All of us, we normally meet at times. We chat, we talk. Maybe you can watch ball. Mm. Right? So in this case, you can use your idea, share it with your friends. You'll find that these friends could be having a certain idea and a skills to come up with something. So for me, technology is a gold mine. Mm -hmm. More so for us use. For, for us use. If we can use that knowledge very well, mm -hmm. it will be a hit in every in every sector that we are doing. Because right now you are focusing like MDRASA basically is on on aspect of education. Mm -hmm. But you see like in MDRASA also we've gone further and provided a platform for business. Mm -hmm. Whereby the business can use our application, web application and phone application mm -hmm. to be assisted in filing the mm -hmm. returns. Mm -hmm. Like Nowadays, or uh, this is a period of filing the returns, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, sure. Basically, people have adopted manual. But bringing in technology, how can you bring in technology? How can you, how can you use this digital space mm -hmm. in assisting mm -hmm. you guys in filing your returns? By the way, Masava, have you filed your returns? <laughs> Sinichome picha on live air. Uh, Sinichome picha. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll find them tomorrow. Yeah, we still we still have time. Yeah. We still sin wale wakinga to nango janga last minute. Um si ungoje last minute come on. Yes, yes, yes. You can mm. you can use uh, your you can use our application to find your to file my returns. Yeah, in that, I'll do that after there's an area that you can go. Uh, we have a tax returns. Mm -hmm. We have tax returns on that case, you can just upload your P9. After uploading your P9, you can just give us your I tax person. Then the other things, leave it to us. Yeah, leave we'll it to you. It Wait, thank That's you. part of a digital space hey, that you can also <laughs> take an advantage as, of. As much as I give you my information and the mm -hmm. PIN and the PIN uh -huh. and everything else, uh -huh. How safe is it? Very and, safe. And, and tell mm -hmm. me, the, and also go ahead and tell me uh -huh. the challenges facing cyber securities, mm -hmm. um, cyber, the digital space, and uh -huh. also your app. Uh -huh. Do you, have you encountered any challenges? 
Okay, going mm. to your first question. Mm. In that case, your data is very it's secure. Very safe. It's us. very secure yeah. with me. Cause how, how, how percent? How many percent? Right now, we are talking about 98%. 98. There's nothing that There's is two, 100%. Percent. That 2% percent usually yeah. matter, right? guys. <laughs> that 2%. But, but yeah. it's very safe with mm. us. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, going to aspect of cyber security. This is something that has heated Africa. Initially, you were thinking that cyber security is something of the West. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Even though every person was thinking about right but currently we find that talk of these banks these banks trust you me they are hacked they are being hacked at least in a year they are being hacked several times and that's why you'll find that we have uh, several companies that are, are in place take for example when you're talking about uh, if i can mention one company known as enovis <laughs> enovis limited is a cyber security firm of which in this case you'll find that they have come in place like uh if you can talk on aspect of banking, there's something known as penetration. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you'll find these hackers, we have uh, two types of hackers. We normally talk of uh, black hats and we normally talk of white hats. So black hats, yeah. your information for the purpose of making cash. Okay. Whereas white hats, these are <laughs> also uh, hackers. But these hackers, they are therefore good for mm. good intention. Mm -hmm. So they come to protect, to protect your data. So you'll find that uh, cyber security also as youths if you can uh, if you can take an advantage on aspect of cyber security and mm. learn some few ways of there. It can it is also a way that we can use it to make to make cash on ourselves, but not black hats. Mm -hmm. Let's use it as, as <laughs> white hats. Okay, not yeah. penetrating to getting access of a person and maybe use that access to make cash, mm -hmm. but do that on aspect of you creating an enabling environment for business to conduct to conduct their job. And do you think we have uh, enough cyber security awareness? Mm -hmm. Has the government created that awareness that it can actually, how do I say it? Is there enough awareness? And mm -hmm. also, is the policy and the laws for cyber security, are they strict enough eh, mm -hmm. to restrict people <laughs> yeah. from from hacking or, or involving in fraudster? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Yeah, like as of now, I really thank the government. They came up with uh, the cyber cyber laws, mm -hmm. of which at this point you'll find that it has really assisted on a, on a some way or the other. Yes. But still, we should keep up, or rather, we should at least uh, the government should put more effort on the same. Because as much as we have our cyber security, the beauty part with cyber security that is on the good side and the bad side. Mm -hmm. We can do a hack, and you'll never trace that person. So that's also an area that the government can also engage youths on aspect of trying to do a track on these people who have hacked something. Because that is an area that mm. they are not clear yet. Mm. Say that if, for example, a person has uh, maybe has accessed uh, maybe this data without the consent of the other person. Yes. In such a case, how can we track this? And if we don't track, what's the next step that we can do? Mm -hmm. So that is the area that I think the cyber laws should also be very clear, should mm -hmm. also be very clear on the same. Okay. Yeah, that's an area that should be very clear on the same. But so far, so good. Mm -hmm. They have tried their best as the government. <laughs> okay, your final statement as you tell us how we can get your MDRASA app. Mm -hmm. Yes, as we wrap up the show. Okay, mm -hmm. the MDRASA app, you can uh, go to Play Store, search MDRASA, of which MDRASA is the only MDRASA on Play Store. You just uh, search it, download the app. Then after downloading it, you are going to, to sign up. Of course, after signing up, you'll be able to access the course that you will need to, to access on aspect of CPA if you're talking about BCom. And also the beauty part of it, we've also collaborated with a college in town known as Regional Center of Management. Mm. This college is uh, located opposite, opposite Galitos okay. Commonwealth House. Okay. We have third floor and fifth floor. Okay. So in case of anything relating to your study CPA and also other net courses, you can come there. Because the same we have, the online part of it, then if you feel you need a physical classes, you also have a college where you can join us. But ideally to the youths again, I just want to tell them that we can use this digital space to create our own employment. We can use this digital space to create big businesses. Let us not just depend on aspect of being employed, because on aspect of employment, it will reach a time that you get tired. If you get tired and you don't have anything, what will you do? You should <laughs> well, be having at least your yeah. own business somewhere. Right? Sure, sure, yeah. sure. So for the youths, we have a digital space is very wide. We can take that, uh, that advantage 
to create our own to create our own businesses okay yeah. well thank you so much Frederick. Please do come again when we invite you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for Masala. making time. Yeah. Well, that marks the end of our show. Thank you so much for staying with us. Well, till next time, my name is Miriam Masava. The buzz is up next. <laughs>